in our introductory video concerning the beta function, we stated that beta mn equals beta nm. But we didn't prove it, so we want to take a few minutes in this video and demonstrate that. Um, a reminder that the playlist for all the videos is at the website. If you go to the calculus section and then scroll down to where it says integral functions, that's where the videos are for um, all the gamma integral function problems as well as the beta integral function problems. Okay, um, here to prove this, let's remember what our basic definition is for beta m n. We have the integral, there's x, 1 minus x, dx. x goes from 0 to 1. And it's in this order, x, 1 minus x, corresponds, the exponents on these terms correspond to these terms here. Specifically, the exponent on the x term is this minus 1, so that's m minus 1. And for the 1 minus x term, its exponent is the second term, n minus 1. So there's the basic definition of the, base, of the uh, beta function. Now let's just do a simple variable change. Suppose we say let x equal 1 minus y. Then dx, that's just going to be minus dy. And x goes from 0 to 1. So then y, if x is 0, this side of the equation is 0. To make this side of the equation 0, y will have to be equal to 1. And if x equals 1, then on this side of the equation, y is going to have to be 0. So the limits of y go from 1 to 0. So let's go to our, consider our, consider this initial integral. We have from 0 to 1, x to the m minus 1, 1 minus x to the n minus 1, dx. Now let's make our variable change. This will equal the integral x that's 1 minus y. So you have 1 minus y to the m minus 1 power. And 1 minus x, that's going to be 1 minus 1 minus y. And that equals y. So this gives us y to the n minus 1 power. dx, that's minus dy. And the limits of y go from 1 to 0. So we have this kind of an expression. But here with the uh, integral we have this negative sign before it. So we know that but this type of integral expression, that's the same thing as an integral where the limits are reversed like this. So we can rewrite this, take that negative sign out, and switch these limits around. and write it like this. And of course, this 
and to go here, that is our definition beta mn, where again this corresponds to the exponent of the x term, this corresponds to the exponent of the 1 minus x term. Specifically, we would take this and add 1 to it to get this, and for the 1 minus x term, add 1 to get this. Well, over here, we have exactly the same type of integral, only here we'd say this would be equal to the beta function now it'd be the first term here would be n minus 1 plus 1, so that's going to be beta n. Then for the y minus 1 minus y term, this exponent plus 1 is going to be the second term here, and that's just going to be m. m minus 1 plus 1, of course, is just m. So this integral is the definition of beta nm. But that also equals this integral, which is beta mn. So it's very simple to show then that beta mn equals beta nm. And really, um, that's all that we wanted to show in this video. Um, in the next video, what we're going to do is something that's going to be more involved. We'll probably have to split the uh, video into two different parts. What we want to show is that there's a relationship between the beta integral function and the gamma integral function. So the beta integral of say mn, that is equal to the gamma function of m times the gamma function of n divided by the gamma function of m plus n. And showing this equation is considerably more involved, so we'll do that in the next video. And as I say, we'll probably have to split that video up into two parts to formally show that this is true. Okay, that's all I want to say for this video. Again, a reminder that the playlist for the videos is at the website digital-university.org.